What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud, and whoo! What a treat we have today. I have got a box of the Empire Pistoliers slash Outriders, and I'm going to unbox them for you. I'm going to do a little product review, and then I'm going to build them up, and we'll see, uh, you know, what the quality is, what's left on the sprue that you can have for your bits boxes, and um, all of that. So, <clears throat> this box, you can make five Empire Pistoliers or Outriders, either or. Um, and let's take you through the sprues. You, you get three in the box. Here's the first one. The body of the horse and uh, looks like pouches down here, which is pretty cool. More pouches. Um, p holstered pistols, which is cool. Uh, legs. A bunch of different heads. And um, these look like little pouches of shot. And a lot of pouches. Interesting. And this looks like something that goes um, shell casings maybe. This little piece right there something that hangs on your belt. Oh, may oh, you know what? Maybe that could be for the repeater handgun, possibly. Um, you're gonna body these repeater handguns. Look kind of like little mini guns. Little mini mini guns uh, for, the, for the Outriders. <coughs> um, awesome looking cloaks. For, uh, for the Outriders as well. And um, a bunch of great looking heads. Three, four, five. So if, if nothing else, um, definitely you have a lot of heads, extra heads to put on your, um, to put on other, other guys. Yeah, because, bless my heart, it looks like this sprue is exactly the same as the first one we just looked at. So right there, boom, five extra heads already. Now let's take a look at the last sprue. Those two were exactly the same. This one has, holy camoly, look at all of these heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A couple of these, like look at, look at this guy over here. It looks like a Colonel Mustard. That guy, I love him. And big, big flowy mustaches. This guy looks very um, um, British cavalry, uh, historical kind. I like all of these uh, beards and mustache guys. They look. <laughs> look really fantastic. More pistol, uh, holstered pistols. Um, you get one arm with a grenade launching blunderbuss, <coughs> which is a, uh, I guess, a option. Yeah, I think all of these little pieces are for the ends of your, your repeater handguns. Oh, you also get cool little kit bags. So, <laughs> bottle of uh, two bottles of ale or champagne. Um, musicians, you get two musician hands if you wanted to add the French horn or the trumpet. I should know, I was a band geek in high school. <clears throat> I know what those are. Um, yeah, but holy moly, this, and, and look at the, look at the, um, look at the coat for the, for the, I guess the champion here. And he's holding like a keyblade from, uh, or like a, like a mechanical, <clears throat> um, I don't know what you would call that, steam powered sword slash it's got a it's got a handle and like a trigger on it that is unbelievable unbelievably cool very steampunk um and he's wearing like uh like a great coat with a fur trim on the top as a cloak so that's definitely for the champion um but yeah look at all the extra bits holstered pistols everywhere uh, pouches so many extra heads that you can just throw on your state troopers to give them a, a different feel. <coughs> or your great swords. Um, extra musician hand if you are sick and tired of <coughs> the, um, the drummer, the little drummer boy that all the state trooper regiments have. So um, I'm gonna build these guys up. Uh, the reason I bought this kit was because I, I always wanted them in my Empire Army. I think they're great distraction units. I uh, don't know which to build them as though and um, I might, what I might do is build them up as, as, uh, pistoliers, <clears throat> just because I, I like the look of those models better, and, um, I'll, I'll, I'll build and paint up one guy as, as an outrider with the repeater handgun. Um, but I like the, I like the fluff of the young, impetuous, uh, pistoliers, the nobles. The fluff for these guys is that the, these guys here on the front cover of the box, the pistoliers, are young, hot-headed, impetuous, younger sons of noble families that um, 
that have to have to prove themselves before they can become knights. And so they ride to battle. Uh, they train for horsemanship, riding, and um, after I guess their squire uh, live their 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 tenure as a squire, then they get to ride in the pistol corps. And um, and then if they like it and they want to stay, then they get to become outriders, which are these guys on the back that have these repeater. Oh, sorry about the glare. Repeater uh, handguns. Let's see if that shows up a little bit better. Yeah. You can see these guys off on the side. Um, so more experience, they've got the mustaches, they've been riding their horses for a long time. Um, so, I'm gonna build these guys up. I, I like the... I like... I, I like these pistol guys. I like... I really like them. Um, they don't do as much damage as the, uh, as the Outriders, because the Outriders have these, you know, repeater handguns. These little mini guns. <laughs> but, um, the, the fluff of the of the pistol core, I think is just so much more fun and awesome. Hot-blooded, hot-blooded, impetuous young nobles riding horses with pistols. <laughs> I think that's so awesome. So, okay, I'm gonna paint them up, or I'm gonna build them up, and we'll show you what, what they look like and what you get left on the sprue, and my final thoughts on assembly, gluing them together, and um, value when we get back. All right, the uh, noble sons of the empire are ready to be <clears throat> showcased, but first I want to go over the instruction manual. Instruction manual is great, it's really well put together, it's very simple. Just unfold the sheet, shows you a completed <coughs> unit of outriders, <laughs> and it very simply shows you, you know, step, well not really step by step, but how each piece fits together and what the finished model is supposed to look like, and it also gives you options that you can add or not, depending on uh, whether you want to add these different options or not. A lot of them are just detail bits like, you know, the sleeping bag and extra weapons, uh, pouches and stuff that um, might be too much work and hassle for you if, you know, that's not something you're interested in, but interesting anyways nonetheless. So very good. A plus on the instructions. As per the frames, you get 12 heads left over left over. That means that 12 of your state troopers or artillerymen, um, handgunners, crossbowmen, great swords can look very uh, like armored, have armored helmets. Probably for your great swords it would be great alternatives. You got any extra pieces that you don't fit like these pouches and pieces of shot and you get a whole bunch of braces of pistols which I think I'm gonna save for my ogre man eaters because I hear man eaters with brace of pistols are pretty good. Bunch of different pouches. Um, I went with more pistol ears, so you get obviously the arms that you didn't use. If you're not using outriders, then you get the extra cloaks. And uh, I'll just show you the other two. Again, more heads. Pistol ear arm I didn't use because I'm using the trumpet. Um, yeah, more of the same. I did not use the grenade launcher blunderbuss, so there's that. You get extra feathers, these little wreaths that you can put anywhere. I didn't know where to put on, so I didn't. More braces of pistols. Um, you also get repeater handguns, which is a really cool option, both for the pistolier arms and for the um, for the outrider champion. You can have a repeater pistol as well, because the I guess the pistoliers have the more slashed, foofy, foofy clothes and the Outriders are all wearing these cloaks, yeah. Okay, so let me show you the guys that I made and I decked them out because I wanted to see how much bits and bobs would be left over in the kit afterwards. So each of them has something on the front, usually two pistols, extra pistols, for, oops, for when they have shot the ones they're currently holding. A sword, hand-to-hand -hand weapon, knapsack, and something else on this side. So here it's a pouch. There's one guy. There's another guy who's got his pistols up. And he's got a sword. Extra pistol back here. A pouch. Sleeping bag. Pistol. Different pouches and whatnot. Here's my musician. He's totally kitted out. He's got his, um, there. Oh, I don't have anything in the front of him over here, but here's one of the 
pistols with the sacks on it, sleeping bag, and sword, and oh, nothing there either. Must have forgotten him. Outrider, brace of pistols in the back, which is really cool, two pistols in one holster. Um, sheath sword, nothing in the front here because I gave him the two bottles of ale. <coughs> Which I think is really funny, and then a pouch, and then a sleeping bag. Finally, we've got this impetuous young blood who's aiming off to the side. Kapow, kapow, kapow. Two pistols, a sword, sleeping bag, and a little pouch with what looks like cannonballs, little uh, three separate little balls, but could also be um, kit or apples for his horsey that he loves so much. So let me just line these guys up really quick. Kind of have them like this. So the reason why I bought these and why I want to show them off is because I'm doing Averland as my next province for my tutorials and um, they're apparently known for breeding the best horses in the empire. So that's what these guys are going to be for. This guy's tooting his trumpet. This guy's like, where are we going? Where are we going? Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. And the outrider is like, I'm getting too old for this. And this guy is like, hey, Franz, what's that over there? Kill it. So each one has their own kind of little mini character. Um, <clears throat> so what do I give it? Overall, just because of the amount of extras that you get, which is so rare now in these kits nowadays. All the different extra bits and pieces that come with this Outrider kit after you're done building these models. If I just didn't even build all these extra options, that's all those extra pistols, swords, um, sleeping bags, pouches and stuff that you have for the rest of your army or to put on scenery or terrain, I mean, um, or on other kits. So just for the amount of detail and extra bits that you get. I am giving this a solid A plus two war boss thumbs up. Um, now, for the actual cleaning and the models itself, the mold lines were atrocious on the horses. Um, you had mold lines down each of the four, oops, down each of the four legs that you can still kind of see them down the middle. Um, you have for the outriders or for, for the legs each leg right down here there was these bad mold lines each of the helmets for all of the heads along the sides have really bad mold lines and um, for the for the arms I mean each piece seems to have a mold line somewhere so that's gonna make it difficult to um, for, for new for new people new players but um, if you're patient, if you take the time to really clean these mold lines, then then you should be fine. Um, it's just, like I said, it's very daunting when you first start. But, okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Warboss tutorials. I'm also going to be building up my Vargeists and Crypt Horror pretty soon, sometime later this week, and doing a tutorial on that. But I wanted to get this out of the way because Empire is dropping April... 7th or 6th, can't remember which, but I'm um, really excited and stoked for that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.